Hello, this is Judy with Living Judy Style. This is Scott. And it's dinner time. And guess what we're having? We don't know. So we're in the kitchen. We're just going to see what we can find and um, have fun while we do it. Stay with us and watch what we do. It might be interesting. I don't know about the cooking, but the rest might be interesting. Okay. Okay. We have some leftover sausage gravy in the refrigerator. We've got some leftover biscuits and we're going to take some potatoes and slice them up or cube them up or whatever and fry them in the pan and that's going to be dinner. Yum, right? Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Okay, he's looking for the potato pillar. He found it. It was in the drawer where it was supposed to be. So he's going to do the potatoes. He's going to do the potatoes so it doesn't hurt my hands. Do it right, you're on camera. Hello. Yes. Okay, he's doing that. We are going, this is gravy, sausage gravy that I made for my children when they were here this weekend. Um, they all surprised me for my birthday. I'll be telling you about that after we have dinner. And then we have some biscuits that I made and we're going to have those with the gravy and that's probably all we're going to have come back see what we do okay I'm just gonna bring you along and let you see what we do I'm going to get a small pan and heat a little bit of that gravy we're not going to heat the whole thing because we won't eat the whole thing Just gonna heat a little. Even though my children were here for my birthday and surprised me, on my birthday, I had to cook dinner for them. But that's okay, I enjoyed it. I don't have my children together very often. Okay, this is just a little gravy. Which one do you want? Want to use that one? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yep. Okay. Anybody want any sausage gravy? Look how much we have left. I wonder if you can freeze it. I'm not going to, but. Those are pretty thick. Aren't you going to dice them? They are diced. No, they're sliced. They're sliced. They're pretty thick. Well, they don't think they cook any different. Okay, we're in the kitchen together and we have difference of opinion, but he's cooking them, so I'm going to let him cook them the way he wants. Okay. You can do them that way, they're fine. However you want to do them, you usually do them the way you like them and they're good. How many people get in the kitchen with their husbands and cook? We haven't done this in a long time. We used to do it all the time. But I decided today he was going to come in here with me. And when it's all over, we'll see if we put this online. <laughs> you never know. Okay, while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my weekend. Friday was my granddaughter's 14th birthday and we went out to dinner for her. And we were waiting for dinner. She was waiting on two friends to come. Well, my daughter handed me the phone and says, talk to this person. So I took the phone to my ear and it was my son that lives in Indiana. I'm in Georgia. He's in Indiana. And he says, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm, and about the time I got that out, I saw him walking into the restaurant. He surprised me for my birthday, and he was going to stay till Monday. So that meant he was going to church with me on Sunday, and I'm very happy about that. So anyway, they told me, my daughter says, lots and lots of, of surprises this weekend, so don't ask me any questions. So of course I didn't ask any questions. I was excited that they were all there. They were both there. And so Saturday, 
Okay. I've been trying to eat better because I've, I've put on some weight. And I've been trying to eat better. And what did we have for lunch? Ice cream. We went to Dairy Queen and had ice cream. But then after that, they said there was somewhere they were taking us. They kept telling me we were going hiking. Mother doesn't hike. Um, but I said, well, I've got new knees, so I guess I can do that this time. So anyway, we um, started going. And when we got to this certain area in Atlanta, I knew what we were going to do. I kept saying, if you don't have the directions, I can tell you how to get there. And he kept saying, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure. I've got the, the address. So anyway, it turns out they took me to Medieval Times. Medieval Times. Couldn't remember the name of it. I've never been, and they wanted me to go, and they took me. And so it was so fun. It was so fun. We had such a good time. Then after that, they took me downtown Atlanta. And took me to a rooftop area where you can see the entire skyline. It was beautiful. It was nice weather. There's there's like putt-putt up there and all kinds of things. So we had a good time. And we left there, and my daughter was driving, so she took my son all over Atlanta. Because we're not from Atlanta. We're from Florida. I've been here 26 years, and uh, my daughter's been here, I don't know, 20-something years. And my son's been in... Indiana for probably 14 or 15 years something like that so anyway we rode around she showed him things she took him to the Mercedes it's what it's called the Mercedes Stadium Ben Stadium Mercedes Ben Stadium you can tell I know so much about this and then we just rode around had a good time then on the way home my daughter says I'm hungry and my son says me too let's stop at checkers and get fries it was about 12, 12.30. We stopped at Checkers and got fries. And then we came home and everybody went home. And, well, my son was staying in a hotel because his dog doesn't like people. And so, anyway, he had to keep the dog over there. So, um, the next day was Sunday and my husband and I were driving to church and I said, you know, the thing that would put the icing on the cake for this weekend was for my oldest son to be here. I wish that he was here. So we go to Sunday school and church. I teach my little Sunday school class. You know, I have the little five-year-olds. When it was all over, we go into the, the big church, as we call it, and I walk in, and my daughter's standing there like this with her camera, all smiles like. And then right over here is my son that I knew was here and his wife. And I'm like, why do you have the camera? I already know they're here. So I look around and there's my oldest son and his wife. They came to church. I was so excited. It's the first time I've had all three of my children together. Seven or eight years at least. And in church longer than that. So I was, I was, I couldn't get the smile off my face. And so we go in, I start introducing them to people and everything. I had to sing in the choir. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful day. And then when, when church was over, Vanessa, my daughter, says, Okay, we're going to my house for lunch. We got lunch planned at my house. So we went in, and she had, they had, um, just all kind of food. All kind of food. And we had the best time. We laughed. We joked. We told stories, old stories. We just had the best time. So, my oldest son had to go back home, him and his wife. They live in Columbus, Georgia. So, they went back home, and I stayed at my daughter's for a little while, and then we came back to our house because I was going to cook dinner. And my daughter's mother-in-law and her sister-in-law and nephews were here. They're, they're from Florida, and they were here in Atlanta for some um, function. And they came over here, so we played Family Feud. It was so fun. I had so much fun. We were up every night till after 12, 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And I'm usually awake, but I'm not active at that time of night. So it was just a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I feel so blessed. I'm so thankful that all of them were here. Um, I just pray that it doesn't take another seven or eight years before I can get everybody together again. 
But the whole point is, it was a wonderful weekend. I appreciate what they did. I appreciate the time they spent and the efforts they made and all the things they did for me to make my birthday special because it was very, very special. Okay, so I've got some birthday gifts too, but I'll tell you about those later. Um, that might not even be in this video. But I'm heating the gravy, the sausage gravy. And he's got the potatoes frying. This is a very strange dinner. Do you ever do that? Do you need to get here? It's a strange dinner, but we do this sometimes if we don't know what we want to have. We just come in and see what we've got and just make dinner. Most of the time we have it planned earlier, but today we didn't. So um, I was gone part of the day. I went to spend time with one of my little Sunday school boys. He's five years old, and he wanted me to come to his house and play. So that's what I did part of the day today. I played with him and his little little brother that's not quite a year old and he's just walking so I just had a good time. I was in the playroom and all boy toys. It was all fun. We had a good time. So anyway, um, okay I guess I'll stop for this for a minute and I'll come back in just a few minutes and we'll do some more. Okay I had to add more gravy. Mr. Hunt said there wasn't enough in there so I added more. We've got the potatoes going. Those will be good. And I don't have them very often, but I love this Diet Dr. Pepper. It's the best diet drink to me. To me. And, okay, I bought some these biscuits are white lily biscuits, made out of white lily flour. These biscuits were made out of Walmart flour because it was cheaper. They're still good, but they're a totally different color. I guess you can tell. There we go. They almost look gray in the in the video. But they're not really gray. But anyway, these are still good, and so... He can have the good ones because I'm good like that. I'll let him have the good stuff. And I'll eat the Walmart biscuits because they're good too. Potatoes are getting there. Okay. I just Put the biscuits in the oven and then heat those in there. And the potatoes are almost done. The gravy's warm. So fast, easy, and yummy, and unconventional. And using up some leftovers. And it's going to be good. You're being watched. Smile. Look at the camera. <laughs> Just cooking my potatoes. Yummy. Yeah, they'll be done in a I don't want you to see that. You can't see through that glass. There's his plate. Sausage, gravy, biscuit, fried potatoes. Biscuits are homemade. Gravy is homemade. Potatoes are not homegrown. <laughs> okay, we're going to eat now. Well, is it good? Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go for... And not knowing what we're going to have dinner. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, here's all of my fall decor in these boxes. 
I'm going to take all of them out of the boxes and put them on my dining table. I know the light's not on in there, but I'm not going in there right now, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to put them all out on the table, and then we'll decide what room we're going to put each thing in. And we will decorate one room at a time, and at the end of the decorating, once everything is done, I will do a fall home tour. Right now, I'm going to say goodbye. I will get this ready for you for in the morning. I know that it's a very short video. I'm sorry, but there's a lot of things going on that I haven't been able to control right now, and I've not had as much time, but bear with me, and the next video you see, I'm not going to say it'll be Tuesday. It might be before then. If I can get started on decorating, I will bring you along, and then we'll have a video on who knows. It won't be Sunday. I don't do anything like that on Sunday. Only church, only things for the Lord on Sunday. So anyway, just take a look at how me and my husband <laughs> acted in the kitchen and how sometimes it can be fun. And that's, that's what I like is fun. All right. Until next time. Be good to everyone. Love everyone. Be kind. Come back again and see me. And remember, Jesus loves you most. Bye-bye. Head up.